Good morning everyone. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different than usual. Now I get a lot of questions asking me what it's like working in a coffee shop and what my favorite parts of it are, so I thought I'd walk you through one of my morning shifts. Opening shifts are one of my favorite because I think they're really relaxing and even though you have to wake up pretty early, they're a lot of fun. So let's get started. Now the first thing I do of course is wash my hands very vigorously, which by the way we all should be doing. We also should also be wearing masks, so that's just a little something I wanted to throw in. Anyways, after I get done with that, it's time to turn the lights on, it's time to pull the syrups out of hibernation from the fridge, and it's time to get the coffee brewing. That's one of the things that does take a little bit of time, and it's nice to get it started early because then I can do other things in the meantime while that just kind of sits and brews. Now I'm going to adjust my grind size, I'm going to close off the hopper, and then we're just going to grab the filter and dump in the pre-portioned coffee that I did the day before. We do it this way because the coffee will be used within 24 hours and it makes it really easy to brew the right amount of coffee very quickly during rushes, especially in the morning. Now that we got our coffee grounds all dumped in there, I'm going to just slot it back into the Fetco brewer. I'm going to press two buttons and there we go. Hot pot of coffee will be ready in about five minutes. And of course, like we always do, we're going to clean up our mess, use the paintbrush, Bob Ross the place, and make sure it looks nice and clean for the next time you have to brew the coffee. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is make my shift drink. Now, I usually like to drink ice drinks in the morning because I can consume them super quickly, which is nice. I also like doing mochas, which if you've watched this channel for a while, you'll probably already know that. I'm a sweet drinks kind of person, so we'll turn on our grinders and get the espresso going. I usually don't dial in before I pull my own personal shot, just because I'm usually putting in a drink that is very, very sugarized and very, very milky, so if I'm being quite honest, it doesn't matter too much. However, we will be dialing a little bit later, but for now, that's all right. We're gonna just pull whatever we've got here and get going because it's like five in the morning and I'm very tired and looking forward to my first coffee of the day. Now that we have our puck all done, our porta filter looks nice and clean. I'm gonna slot that back into the machine and let's get some espresso going. Next, I just dump that into my cup and then I add a little bit of cocoa powder on top. Like I mentioned in last week's video, I really like adding just plain cocoa powder on top of mochas because I think it really balances the sweet chocolate syrup with a nice bitter taste of cocoa powder. Oat milk, of course, because dairy hurts me. And then we're just gonna add some ice, get it all stirred up, and it's time to enjoy while we wait for the coffee to finish brewing. Okay, three, two, one, and our coffee is now finished brewing. So the next thing I'm gonna do is have a little taste test for myself without cream. This is essentially just to make sure that the coffee tastes exactly how it should when we serve it to customers in about 30 minutes. Now I'm looking to make sure that the coffee tastes as it usually does and that nothing went terribly wrong in the brewing. Some things that could have happened were I didn't grind it on the right setting or perhaps it wasn't measured out to the right weight, but the good news is it tastes good. So I'm gonna move on to some of my other tasks that I have to do before we open, which includes restocking everything. And yes, filling up the hoppers is just as satisfying as it looks. The next little section I have to fix up is our condiment stand. So I make sure we have plenty of lids, both small and large. And I also make sure, thankfully we were all stocked up, but I usually will check on our sugars, our sugar syrup, and stir sticks and straws. So the next thing I have to do is arguably the most important task of the morning shift. And that's dialing in the espresso. Now this is something I've touched on before, but it doesn't hurt to run through it again. So essentially what dialing in the espresso means is making sure the coffee is tasting up to our company standards and our general parameters are met every single day. Now for us that means we want 19 grams of espresso to be dosing out of the grinder and we want to be pulling it out to approximately 38 grams of liquid. This is a 1 to 2 ratio and that's pretty standard but again it can vary pretty dramatically based on the cafe, based on your personal preferences, based on roast date, based on country of origin, based on a whole lot of factors. So it's a pretty wide range but we do 1 to 2 and it was tasting about right. Now I'm going to just continue completing my tasks for the day, which include watering the plants, including this little one called Brussel. We also have one called Russell around the shop, so that's kind of fun. After that, I continue restocking. We have to do all the tea bags, and then after that, I have to do some cleaning just to make sure our cafe is up to standards before we open up and start serving customers. 
I'm going to clean off the glass pastry case and after that I have just a little bit of time left before we have to open. So I'm going to do one last thing that I don't do very often anymore. It's not required of me but it's something that's really fun and I thought it would be good to show you. So I'm going to do a little practice pour for myself which means I get a practice latte here, which is always a good time. Now I don't do a ton of latte here anymore. Of course I serve it on all the drinks we have in the shop because that's our standard but I don't intensely drill it anymore and I don't really compete too much anymore. Now latte art competitions were something I was really into for quite a while and they're something that I think can be incredibly fun, but I've found some other passions so I've moved on a little bit. But now and then it's always nice to kind of remind myself that I can, yes, still pour a decently stacked latte. My goal with this pour was to see how many stacks I got and comment if you can figure out how many stacks I actually did because there was actually quite a few and I was really happy with this pour. So I snapped a quick pic of it before we opened. I took a sip just to see how it tastes and of course it's delicious but I can't drink it all because of whole milk and that's my usual morning. So hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!